All right, guys. Uh, I'm back again with another video on the UND 7000 series. Uh, today, I'm going to show you some of the features on the Smart Hub, uh, the web browser, and some of the menu options that are on the TV. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first, we do the web browser because people have been asking me how the web browser works. I also have the the QWERTY keyboard remote control, which is awesome pretty handy mine came with the box with the TV in the box so no need for vouchers so yeah also um, this little button right here acts like a little little mouse pad so which is kind of awesome but it's very sensitive so it tends to click on a lot of things you don't want to click so yeah, here we go I'm going to show you uh, a flash site let's see what should we do <clears throat> this is a YouTube and load up a movie, a video. That's something, something quick. Insane skateboard stunt. See if I can get to uh, full screen mode. Also, uh, if you press the the yellow button, a little pointer comes out, and you'll be able to scroll like that. So yeah, wait for a video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get to one of the most extreme, try to go to full screen mode. Alright, I'll well, show you that it could run flash pretty easily. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Now I'm going to show you some of the, the modes, the menu options that they have. So we have picture right here, which includes uh, picture mode, which has a standard uh, movie, natural standard dynamic. Movie, uh, backlight, contrast, brightness, sharpness, color, tint. <clears throat> then we go here to advanced settings. Uh, yeah, black tone on and off, dark, dark, darkest. Uh, then it contrast, low, medium, high. Uh, shadow detail, gamma, RGB mode, only mode. Uh, color space uh, white balance uh, white balance again flesh tone uh, edge enhancement motion lighting LED Motion Plus. Alright, and that's it for the advanced settings. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let me go down again. Go to picture options. So we have color tones, cool, standard, warm, uh, digital noise filter, MPEG uh, noise filter, Auto Motion Plus. Reset picture. All right, let me head down to sound, sound mode, standard music, movie, clear voice, and amplify. Uh, SDFI, F output, audio format, PCM, speaker settings, TV speakers. I don't have external speakers on. I hooked up auto volume, normal, and night. Alright, then you have the network settings. Then we have here the system settings, the standard time, 
which you have the sleep timer, eco solution, whatever. security, auto protection time, and general settings. General settings has the game mode for you gamers, which supposedly uh, reduces the lag on the inputs of your con on, on the controller, but I could not tell a di difference. And uh, let's see, Blu-ray, boot logo for when the, you boot up your TV, the little Samsung smart TV logo pops up real quick. And TV name, in the room, bedroom, and whatever, small kitchen, home TV, user input, and whatever. Oh, I can change it. Okay, yeah, you can change it. Okay. Yeah, later. And then you have the support, the legal notice, uh, e-manual, self-diagnosis, and the software upgrade or in context and so. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to show you some gameplay footage or let's see what else I can show you. Yeah, I'll show you some gameplay footage. So I'm trying to show you some of the more of the black levels <coughs> on the TV. So let's just start it up. So I exit out here. Speed shift two. And some nice black levels that can show for it. <clears throat> I'm not running in game mode. I'm using the not my normal settings, my movie settings. To raise, then take it to the local tribe, make sure you're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, if you have any more questions, don't don't be afraid to ask. All right, see ya.